dozens of trucks carrying much-needed aid for Palestinians in Gaza. Their next step, the Egyptian city of Ismailia, and finally, the Rafah border crossing. We have more than 2,000 blankets, 2,000 food supply boxes, as well as three trucks carrying nearly 6,000 boxes of bottled water and 300 coffins. We are waiting for more donations to deliver more aid to our brothers. People in Gaza are in dire need of help. There are shortages of everything. Any financial or material donations, even blood donations, are needed. In Cairo, volunteers gathered, packing up boxes filled with rice and other food. But Israel has yet to give the green light for aid to enter the Strip, which has been under blockade for 16 years. Regarding Gaza, the crossings are closed, the borders are closed, and any movement or crossing to Egypt will be in coordination with us and in contact with us. For now, this is not happening. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock, who was in Egypt on Saturday, said her country was working to get aid into Gaza. Several countries have already sent supplies, including the UAE and Turkey. A plane carrying trauma medicines and health supplies from the World Health Organization also landed in Egypt on Saturday. The organization's head has warned that delaying the aid translates to more lives being lost in Gaza. Meanwhile, the European Union Commission president, who visited the site of Hamas's attack in Kfar Aza on Friday, announced on Saturday that the bloc was tripling humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip to 75 million euros.